natural or artificial. If it's an, a natural source event, we're expecting a crater one, that crater must be circular in shape and that crater must decrease in diameter from top to bottom, if it's natural. As I said, I got my PhD on meteoric seismology from National Observatory in Brazil and I did a postdoc at the University of Science and Technology in South Korea. So I know what I'm saying. So we got there, we saw a perfect, we saw a perfect, a nearly perfect circle. Wow. And a decreasing depth in diameter from top to bottom. At the top, the diameter 20.6. By the time we're, we're going to the base, it's about 7.3 or 7.5 meters. Forming like a cone. Form something like a cone. The impression is that something like a cone that forms the shape of a cone. That second, the second, the, uh, second deduction that we're able to see some ejector, what I call ejector. That what imparted came from this direction at an angle of 43 degrees. And it moved in and pushed the ejector towards the west or southwestern side of this. That is natural. And we went around, big soil sample, we checked naturally the natural activity that were, uh, the thorium and the radium content that we are finding is almost zero. It's natural ambient uranium, natural ambient thorium that we found in this environment. So that one, to me, it has eliminated the possibility of an IED exploding at the center. Also, we have to look at another possibility. Is it an artificial event? We started scouting around, look at the soil, can we see anything that is the only thing that we saw, we saw some shrapnel. Father can you give me those metals? The two and back, those metals, those metals, Mr. Kola the black ones. We saw, we saw every metal that's like that, that, that has coiled, like a force squeezing to pick it around the place. We look at the metal, we quickly carry out the online analysis. 80% of it shows that they are not. Artificial. It's only about 10 to 15 percent that should have old. Possibly, maybe there was a very cool. They took to be. There's one big one there now, gentlemen. There are about big ones there, please. Like uh, this one, not the trailer. The trailer. Very cool. They are not natural. Okay. Bring the big one. No, okay. That this is a different scenario. This is from a vehicle. A vehicle. That's from a vehicle. Compare it to that. Compare with this one. In terms of weight, in terms of density, one is lighter, one is dense. Uh, it could be different parts of uh, vehicle. Uh, sir, uh, that's our own deduction. Uh -huh. Sir, in conclusion, <coughs> I'm not in agreement with our scientific finding. We, we, as I said, we have done vibration studies. Yes, sir. We have done seismic studies. Yes. We have done radioactivity studies. We have done water analysis. I've not seen anything pointing to the fact that what? An ID exploded at the center of this place. In other words, what in happens, uh, yes, sir. In the I'm almost 100 percent sure that it's an asteroid, asteroid that fell at an angle of 43 degrees and impacted this environment and created an ejector and other material. And the the, the asteroid brought some material, extraterrestrial material, which we have picked. It's an, to me, and to answer the question, they say there was an a vehicle, a vehicle having an ID close by. And somebody say coincidence or no coincidence. That you have coincidence or no coincidence, I cannot, I cannot answer that question. The question I want to ask is, what is the size of the ID that we're carrying? That will, that will impact more than 200 meters, sorry, more than, more than 300 meters radius. What is the size of the ID? We have measurement there. Yes, sir. You have any, so are you, are you saying we are having a trailer load of ID? Then, a trailer of ID, a vehicle there, as you have the, does it mean the vehicle was parked there? Yeah, yeah, that's all the same. Yes, the, the vehicle was parked there, it's a, it's a and, exploded. and exploded. Yes, yes. And 
but like you said, the force of impact too when it explodes. Well, I'm trying to keep what. But the force of impact does it just go down or it goes all around? The, if 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 it's, if, if, if it's natural, yes, sir, it will go down vertically. Right, yes, it will, it and, and create and to create yes. a cone. Yes. If it's artificial, it will never create a cone shape structure. Mm. Perfect.